what is up you guys so it is scary story saturday time so you know what that means yeah it's time to give y'all another scary story these are all based off a true story if any of you all are wondering so yeah if you haven't checked out my last video with me basically telling y'all that i saw a ghost y'all should go check it out check it out after this video or you can check it out before this video just make sure you come back to hear this story because this story is how I saw a doppelganger doppelganger doppel doppel drip drip okay <laughs> Okay, so this is when I was younger and yes we were living on the west side of Chicago uh, that side of town pretty much is a horror show right all my scary stories pretty much only two only two are based on me living on the west side of Chicago so this time this story is based at my grandparents home which pretty much have a lot of scary stories in itself I wish that I can tell you all the stories but there's so many stories in these are all by multiple family members who've experienced their own things so it's like it's one of those things where i probably have to bring a co-host so maybe next year around the halloween time who knows what may happen with scary stories i may continue this series and get other people involved with it okay because i love hearing scary stories so pretty much this is how this story went down um i really told my dad this story i feel like i should tell you guys this afterwards but yeah, he he pretty much didn't want to believe it. He wants to believe that my uncle actually... Let, let me tell the story first, right? Okay, let's get into the story. Okay, so with this story, it was me and my two uncles. We were all around the same age. We were playing hide and seek in my grandparents' home. I feel like there were more people playing with us, but I could be 100% wrong. Excuse me, I'm filming a story. Okay, <laughs> that's Jelly Belly, guys. Um, I feel like there were more people like playing this with us but I could be 100% wrong I, I don't really recall I just remember the key points of me and my two uncles because this happened with alongside of one of my other uncles who are with me um I'm just calling J and my other uncle T because that's the beginning of their initials so that's how it's gonna go so we won't have to keep saying uncles and you're like which one is she referring to so at this point I was already found um I was with my uncle J so, we're looking for my Uncle T at this point, which is his brother. So, we're walking around the house and we go inside, which the way my grandparents' home was, was set up was it was an apartment up, upstairs. There was the second floor apartment and then there was the basement. All of that was theirs. So, we're on the first floor apartment, I guess that's what you'll call it, making our way to like one around the banister where you can look down into the basement now I remember this vividly I don't know if you remember this like I should have asked them do you remember this story but <laughs> we were playing when we were playing hide and seek okay I don't know where I was hiding I don't remember at all but we saw having to look down a banister and we saw or look down the stairs I said banister and saw my uncle un uncle T underneath the bed and you know, he never like looked at us or anything. We just knew that was him because he was wearing a red hat that he has worn before. And we also have pictures of him wearing the red hat in our album. So we see him and we're just like, hey, we see you down there. We found you, blah, blah, blah. But neither of us actually went down the stairs to actually say, you're, we found you or whatever you do when you play hide and seek. I just feel like you say, hey, we see you, you're out. Or, you know, it's not tag. You don't have to necessarily tap the person and say, you're found. So at that point, the game was over with. So we make our way to the backyard. Now, the porch is upstairs on the first floor, first floor apartment. So in order for you to, you know, make it, up to the porch I'm guessing from the basement is you're gonna have to go outside the door go up the stairs and then run to the back <laughs> go upstairs to the, leading to the porch 
which will be a lot to do considering the fact that it was just like a few walks a few steps for us because we're already on the first floor apartment level so we make our way to the porch and lo and behold guess who's also on the porch my uncle t and his red hat so me and my uncle both have a confused face like how did you get up here so quick you know like i said neither of us went down the stairs to actually tag him neither of us actually said hey you know we found you and neither of us saw him come from underneath the bed so with logical speaking it's kind of impossible for him to have beat us on the porch unless he has some type of superhuman power that no one knows about <laughs> but other than that considering the fact that we were already on the first floor first level of, it's i can't ugh. i just want to say the first um floor that's what i'm gonna just call it the first floor it was kind of like hard to just i'm sorry y'all jelly belly was in the kitchen doing who knows what give me a second <laughs> um so it was kind of just hard to debunk the fact that there's a way you beat us so to this day there's no way we can explain it he was also confused he was just looking like what are y'all talking about but there there's nothing no way to explain it you know and the only way i'm so convinced that it was a doppelganger is because i'm sorry y'all is because his red hat that's what i remember underneath the bed and that's what i remember you know when we saw him in person so it's it's kind of you know hard to believe anything else besides that's what what exactly happened and when i told my dad this story he was just like no nah, he he was on a porch he was basically trying to make me not believe that you know that that's scary <laughs> you know that's kind of creepy to hear that you saw someone and turned out to not be that person and at that time when i was little i, I didn't know what a, um a doppelganger i feel like i'm saying a rose word so wrong was but pretty much it's like your spirit twin if you ever look it up i think that's what that means you know i watch a lot of ghost stuff but that's basically a spirit form of you and it's a lot of myths or it's a lot of stories of what could happen when you ever see your doppelganger and it's just like it's so that you will die on sight because <laughs> you're not meant to see yourself in that way so yeah that story was kind of interesting and eerie but it wasn't as scary as me seeing a ghost i'm gonna just tell y'all that now because or not even the ghost that black mask because it was just like, eh, it was scarier. I don't know. I don't know which is creepier. I guess because it's not as scary as me seeing a, a ghost because I knew what I was seeing and I knew it wasn't right. <laughs> Versus when you're playing and you know you're playing with this person and then, you know, you thought that was the person, I'm guessing, if that makes sense. You know, it's not as scary because you, in your mind you wasn't thinking of anything creepy or you didn't see it as creepy because you know what you were doing. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm making it so confusing. Basically what I'm saying is it was unexpected. I mean, it was less unexpected than me seeing the ghost thing, you know, because I was taking a bath. I didn't think I was going to see something creepy prior to that. I mean during that <laughs> i'm so everywhere with this video now but yeah i just feel like it's not as creepy because you know i knew i was playing with my uncle now it was one thing if i saw his face that's the thing i never saw his face i just saw his head and i want to say did i yeah I'm gonna say, i don't think i ever saw his face when we were playing hide and seek like he like I said, he never looked up and we never went down there. So, there's no... What's going on? <laughs> She's playing with her tea set. But there's no way we can actually sit back and say, Okay, that was so and so. That wasn't this person. You know, he didn't have a twin. So, 
there's no other way to explain it. And like I said, when we found him, he was wearing his red hat. So it's not like he took his head off and gave it to someone else. You know? So yeah, that's something that stuck with me till this very day. And I would love, 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 love to, to just know why certain things like that happen and why it did it like, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is like now I'm about to get all serious and in deep combo about this, but I would have liked to have known if we went down the stairs, what would have happened? You know, like it's kind of interesting now thinking about it because I never thought about it in this type of way of what if we went down the stairs, like what would have happened? You know, like would we've been scared out of our minds or <laughs> would it just been like disappeared? You know, that's some things you gotta question. Like, you know, at the end of these videos, I have so many questions. And I know we would probably never have the answer to it. I know y'all probably don't have the answer to it, or maybe you did. You know, maybe there's some medians or little ghost hunters on here you guys are watching. Maybe you have an answer for me. But I don't know. <laughs> but for right now, those are the questions that I have, you know. Like, why did he have the doppelganger? And rude excuse me i'm filming again but like why did he have the doppelganger why did it come out when we were playing hide and seek like that was like perfect timing because now it makes me question how many other people that we probably had a doppelganger and thought that was them and it really wasn't and we really didn't pay like much attention to it because you know, like stuff like that. And I'm not trying to creep people out and I'm not trying to make this video very long, but it's like serious questions that I have. Like, hello. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video now cause I'm gonna make this longer than what it needs to be. And your girl got things to do. Not really, it's my day off. If anything, I'm just gonna add it. <laughs> but um, so yeah. So stay tuned for one more story time, guys. Just one more. And this story is pretty much how I met Charlie Charlie. Kind of interesting. It's a creepy, it's not a ghost story, but it's more of a creepy, eerie story. And then that's my last story. Until next year, guys. Until next year. And I'm going to see if I can, and I'm going to see about next year, around this time, about, you know, collabing with some family members to see if they want to do some scary story talk with me you know i don't know but yeah there's some interesting scary stories to tell y'all but yeah make sure you guys stay tuned and watch my other videos thumbs it up you know share it leave some comments below you know do the usual and yeah i'll be back with more videos my next video will probably be a vlog of us trick-or-treating on Halloween. Or who knows what I'm going to do. But yeah. See y'all. I'm going to see y'all on the next video. So peace out. Love you. Bye-bye.